Yeah, two cube went in. So this is over two foot deep, this bit. There we go, half nine. Our grab wagon's arrived. So I'm excited to see this happen. Happy days, either way. And then we're gonna get, uh, we've got a rental somewhere. There it is. That's... Push that trench block, give it the same gap each side. So it's not touching. Who's talking there? Sorry. Day four, about eight o'clock now, isn't it? Hmm? About eight o'clock now. Yeah, about ten yeah. past, so we're good to make noise. Yeah, concrete's in. Gas pipe is fine. Building inspectors check that. He's happy for us to leave that in, build it in. Build over it, obviously. Soil pipe's in, but needs pushing over slightly. Uh, so that runs down into the main pipe. We're taking all the shuttering out, struggling. This is all done. We've had to break some out because the bloody concrete it in. Yeah, the concrete goes under the pipe to keep it continuous. So those bits of wood are actually just just gripped by the concrete. So there's no way of getting them out without smashing the pipe. Same so again here. We've got our branch. We've got some concrete in the corner which runs underneath, so we can bridge across. There's the house foundation. We're all marked out. Alex is about to uh, drill in all the screw ties. Every six course. Um, yeah, two cube went in. So this is over two foot deep, this bit, into this corner and then round into there. That's about nine inches deep there. But it's a good solid foundation anyway. Uh, yeah, Alex's going to do the screw tyres. I'm going to get a mix in. I'm going to try and get these last few bits out so we can throw some stone down there. Then uh, nine o'clock, there's some commons for inside. Nine o'clock we've got a uh, grab wagon coming for this lot. So um, yeah, those those are our pipes for our to, to uh, extend our vents across under the floor because we've got two vents in the wall. <coughs> yeah, so that's it. We got we we loaded out yesterday, so a lot of bit of fiddly bits to get on the this morning, then we can get cracking uh, and slab it Monday hopefully. Let's see how we get on. Is that on hammer? Is it on hammer? Is it on hammer? <laughs> There we go, half nine. Our grab wagon's arrived. So I'm excited to see this happen.
Right, during break time, we had an amazing visitor worth jumping out the long for. So, um, here we go. One big pile of shit, let's turn back to it, nice drive. And we're gonna, we're gonna move some of this stone now so the customer can get the car on the drive. That's four tonne of recycled stone. And that is a good four tonne, that. <laughs> we'll definitely use all that, Alex. We'll definitely be using all that. Um, yeah, so um, the uh, grab wagon company was Jay Napier. Uh, first time we've used them, absolutely fantastic. Our driver was Steve, and uh, he was dead helpful. Uh, gave us loads of information. They do digger hire, they do all aggregate soil, usual grab stuff. But um, that that big pile, uh, he said that wasn't even a full full load. So um, absolutely made up with that, and that's it. Uh, Grab wagon is so much easier. You're not lifting, lifting, not lifting barrels into skips. You're not moving around skips, driving around them. You're not waiting to be picked up, dropped off, all that palaver. Skips are good in, in the right situation, but if you can get a grab, every time. So um, we had the visqueen down, which was a bit of a pain, but we didn't want to get the drivers too too mucky. So we're left with a bit where the visqueen's ripped. But um, when we're finished, this will be getting jet washed. So it looked like before we got here. So there's our hardcore. Just fantastic driver. Oh, oh, one other thing. 
when there was a bit of stone left at the back, we tipped the wagons, so all the stuff went to the back, so we got every bit of stone. So we got every 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 grain, which is great. So back in here, we're just going to put some stone down the that void where we uh, shuttered it off yesterday. It's just the um, it's just where the soil pipe meets this, the main soil. So we're going to put some crushed stone down there. Stuck everything caving in. Uh, that block is in position. We've moved the cut back for the walk, the soil pipe here, so it's a bit further out from the brickwork. We're all set out, and we've just got this pain in the corner to get over. Couldn't have a white pipe in a worse place. But yeah, it's, t it's just after 10, so the aim is get it up to DPC today, as I've said, and maybe get a bit of stone around it, around the outside where the uh, so we can work on it. Um, Either to either no, either tomorrow or Monday. Right, let's get back to it. Another quick recap. Vertical damps cut in as high as I can reach until we get on the trestles, both ends, we'll get that slotted in. Uh, we're probably not going to have enough bricks for the commons for the inside, so I might have to nip off and get some of them just up the road to Fairwood. She's leaving me again. <laughs> um, yeah. But like as I've shown, we're all set out just to give that a quick blow, mate, to get, show, get all our marks back. Is the, uh, the blower and the cooler. <laughs> right, as I said, that's the awkward corner. Mix is in, all the mess is done. Where was I? Um. Oh, yeah, we're all set to go. Um, so let's get cracking. <laughs> right, just about, just got my belt on, ready for my motor, and the bricks arrived. So, give me a quick. Quick dinner. We're all set out. First course of trenches in. Well, this part, this bit is. Uh, we put a flag down there to bring the level up where we've got the concrete. We see the stone where the pipe goes through, and then that's a, that's a four by three lintel. You can see there spanning across there. And then we've got another four by three spanning across underneath there, and then another one coming that way, coming that way, and then that's filled in solid, and that blocks on top. 
So that little spread in the weight and then it's cantilevered there as well. So that corner is great. We're a bit tiny touch high at this end. We're a bit higher at that end, but nothing we can't handle. Alex came up with a good idea of putting the, the brick down first before we put the trench on because then we can get all the lintels underneath into the brickwork course and not cut the stuff down and just put a coarser trench straight over the top. That means we've got four face on the outside now. Coarser block, coarser commons. Uh, we're actually short of commons so we're going to have lunch and Alex is going to come back, run this in and I'm going to nip to the fair to pick up 40 concrete commons. And that's that'll be us. That should be all I gear that we need then. So let's go on some dinner. Get this camera charged. On my own again. As uh, his dad said, he's abandoning me again to go grab some more commons because um, we're going to need a few more to get um, this and the uh, one course on the top in. But um, while he's doing that, I'm going to use up what we've got. Line set up. So. I'm just going to run in as much as I can, get the lintel in and then um, when I'm at the bricks I may just try and uh, get the trench block set up and I get that corner one in. We'll see. We'll see how long he leaves me for as well. I may end up not getting that far or I may end up um, being stuck because he likes to, uh, as you know in every video he likes to leave me now so I'll keep you updated about how uh, how my survival goes. There we go, beautiful. All the uh, trench blocker in now, I just need to put some uh, cut down bricks in there. I'll cut the frogs off the uh, commons and throw them in there, but... You won't need to cut the frogs off. Do you reckon? No. It's, oh. probably, it's probably brick and edge more like, or a flat, flat block. A flat block. A flat block. It's a more like. Happy days, either way. Now, we're gonna get, uh, we've got a lintel somewhere, there it is. That's... Push that trench block, give it the same gap each side, so it's not touching. I was talking there. Sorry. Hold that. That's it, just lever it, just lever it. Use your ham hammer. That's it, that'll do. Perfect. Let me out back. So, where was I? That lintel is going to go over the gap. We're going to cut that in half, it doesn't need exactly a massive spread, does it? Just uh, cut that in half probably and that'll do it and then so it's since you put the a course of commons all the way along the bottom it's just uh, one course of block and one common now which uh, unfortunately did screw up the uh, bond a little bit with the ties but <coughs> excuse me we'll fix it up when we come to it but for now we have we have the foundation set out now we know what we're doing so uh, perfect that's just getting another half a mix in and also filling up this uh, hole with the stone. It has took like two or three barrows and uh, six crates of uh, stone so far. It's a bloody deep hole. And uh, we must pay tribute to our lost uh, spot board that Dad had for 12 years. Gone but never forgotten. So uh, yeah, we'll get um, we'll leave some room for a profile hole though. 
so we can, uh, we can crack on with the profiles on Sunday or Monday even. Whenever we're next on the uh, brickwork, and we'll be using our new, our new high vis green line, courtesy of Rodian. Thank you, Rodian. Rodian builds, Rodian Montague. Check him out. He supplies us with some good lines. That's got another barrel already. Before it's a fill out, so we should all go in there. Easily. Alright, I'll do that in a second. Yeah. Oh, filming. Use the rake. Where's the rake? Is it outside? Yeah. See what's there? Is that a loop up? That's the bloody limp up. I was gonna scrape the uh scrape the back with a brick hammer. You know, easier, but any hammer. Okay, got a corner up down there. I've just done the face work, Alex has stuck the back up. So, um, yeah, block work's ready to run in. I'm just going to put another four course corner up here. Bond's been dry bonded through, no measuring and guessing. It's a bang on works brick, brick to half, and the two wings work brick too. So, um, I'm going to get this corner up quick, as quick as I can, but I'm going to film this uh, normal speed and then. Um, well, it's going to tidy up a little bit when I get this up and then throw the block wheel up and get it running quick. We've got to, this in, got to get this inside in today so we can get it prepped over the weekend. But the face isn't important, but the face brick is our gauge, you know, so, our dimension, so the corners are. So, um, yeah, let's get this corner up. Right. I've marked my gauge on my block here, got my pencil mark there, so gauge up to that. And that tells us we've got 10mm to bed down. So, first course. Measuring, we're not gauging off the block, we're not thumbing off the block. I'm going to re measure, re set out again. So that's 15, 10, 4 mil out. Check this weight.
Yeah. Thank you. Here's a double shelf for Quite hard to bed down these bricks because of the million holes in them, a gazillion, and a lot of clay, and they're very sucky. Mate, they're gonna have it moved. Are they? Yeah. So should I put a cross coming in here then? Eh? Oh yeah. 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 Right, Wait, if it's getting moved, are they gonna move it if it's built in? You just cut it off. Oh. It's not getting moved, they won't reuse the cable. Now we're out of the ground. Beautiful. 
Five, three, one, six. There you go. Corner done. I can't show you close up because you're currently plugged in charging because we've slacked on the batteries today. Yeah, so we're um, going to leave the face brick now, concentrate on the inside. If we have any more left over, we'll run some brick in just to get them up out out the ground a bit. Um, yeah, well it's got that side in, as you can see. Lovely job. And yeah, all the openings are covered now. We've built over everything. Lintels are all done. Basically, it's profiles up and away we go now. So, um, yeah, looking forward to get the, get the profiles back out of the garage. Not use them for a while. Right. Um, Let's get this block corner up. Should have done the Grinch then. <laughs> right, we pulled that day back. We had a real bitty morning, but we just couldn't get anything done, didn't we? No, it was horrible. Get, especially the boards. Was oh the yeah, trying bit. to get the boards out here. Yeah. That was hard. That took a good hour. I give us a tribute to the poly board of the. Oh yeah, the poor poly card board that I've had for like 12 years got cut in half. Staying in. Anyway, um, the. Uh, the grab wagon was fun. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. The bricks arrived, which has saved us a big, a lot of it, a lot of messing. That's gained us because it built across the front there. We can we can concrete this now. Size don't matter because um, the concrete's in the middle. In the middle, yeah. So we built across the front. The front's done, which is massive help. We th we thought the bricks might be coming Monday, so that would have really held us up. Um, yeah. All the lintels are in, everything's spanned across. Basically we're ready. We just yeah. need to put a batten or something on top of that skin to bring it up level with the inset with the kitchen floor. It's not being having the floor all the way through. It's kind of a break, but it still needs to be level. We don't want any steps in or out. Um, we're coming back probably Sunday to get it backfilled with all our 
recycled stone that we got this morning with our grab wagon. Fantastic firm that, Jay Napier. I'll put plenty of pictures up of them. Uh, thoroughly recommend them. Uh, yeah, so uh, back Sunday, back fillet, back fillet outside. Well, most of it. Um, whack it, sand blind it, jab light which is in the van, 125 mil polystyrene. Polystyrene around the edge for your cold bridging, fist green under your poly and above your poly. And that's it, that'll be ready. So hopefully it won't rain on it. And we're going to try and get, I'm going to ring Charlie Concrete up tomorrow, get try and get a, a load booked in for Monday. And that'd be great if we can get it concrete in Monday. Get it done in the morning and perhaps get some brickwork done in the afternoon. We can start on the brickwork. We're going to take the fence panels out so we can load out and have a bit of room to work because we haven't got much room there. Up to scaff and then once you get to scaff the pipe we're dropping inside. Trestles as usual. And then there's just tiny little pikes. Probably come below that soil pipe I should think. Very shallow. I think it's a minimum pitch roof on it. So yeah, that's us. We're off now, back home. Well, nearly home. Nearly home. Just nipping to another, another job to move 650 brick off someone's drive. Fun. Yeah, just what you need after a hard day. But anyway, made up with that. Made some real progress today. It's nice to see, see it coming out the ground instead of digging down. <laughs> so, um, I think this will be the end. This will be the end. So we'll do the outro for this. So. Hmm? Outro. Draw. Sure. <laughs> Carry on. I'm just thinking. Oh, I was going to say, it's a long pause, that. I'm thinking how to structure it. I don't want to stutter it. Alright. On a side note, you can edit this out. I think when we're doing like our long monologues, we need to have a piece of us now. That's true, yeah. Instead we just like focus on one thing, but we need to like... Yeah, and flick it backwards and forwards, I suppose. Add a, add a bit of personality to it now. Yeah. So, alright, now... Action. Action. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to uh, like, comment and subscribe if you like the video, if you want to see more. Check out the uh, channel for any more videos like this or whatever else we do. Garage conversions, lentils, point, pointing, maybe. We do fencing. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes fencing, but you know, we do do it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs>